Enterprise Edina is brought to you by Heritage of Edina. Hello, welcome to Enterprise Edina, a program where we connect you to businesses in our community. I'm your host, Lori Severson, and today we're at Heritage of Edina, a senior living community. As we age, we all hope that we can live in an environment and in a community where love, hope, and caring are the primary values. For the heritage, this is the place to be. Why don't you follow me and let's take a look. Joining us today is Maria Field, CEO of Heritage of Edina, and Lynn Bullion, Marketing and Admissions Coordinator for Heritage. Thank you both for joining us. We appreciate it very much. Thank you. Maria, tell us a little bit about the Heritage and this amazing senior community living arrangement that you have here. What's the history? The history started in 1960, and Wayne decided that uh, they needed something like this in the area because there weren't very many homes uh, for the elderly at that time and he started out with the nursing home which was now what we call the Tiffany and that was built in 1960 and uh, then he built uh, Innsbruck and he, a number of others he built the manor in 1965 the Rembrandt building in 67 VOA on the corner in 69 and the Roy Bay building in 1973 which was the last one that he built and, and that was he was your husband he was my husband he was the um, yeah, founder the of the brains business. behind it. And the brains behind us. He was a very creative person. He loved to create things, and that's why the, each building is different. And it's filled with antiques. He loved uh, the old world antiques and would buy them from an auction house. And so he filled uh, all of the buildings with these sorts of things. And he had also built 20 around the United States while he was building these. So he was very, very busy. and. Uh, got everything going and has sold all of those off in the 70s. How long had you and your husband been collecting and was that really the intent for purchasing them was to bring them back here to Edina? Oh yes, definitely. Because he said a building is just brick and mortar but you have to put something um, that means something inside and uh, he thought it gave it a special touch. Yeah, Maria, one of the interesting um, facets of your involvement here is that you live right here on site. Yes, I do live on site and so I'm here 24 hours a day and uh, with the wonderful staff that we have that has been here many, many, many years, um, we just really get along together and we work as a family taking care of other families and so everyone just gets special attention from all of us. And when you said many, many years, you really mean many, many years. When you look at the staff, um, the longevity, you have 10, 15, 20, 30, 30 40, yeah. I saw a gentleman 50, 50 yeah. years. Yeah. So that says a lot about the organization and your, uh, your management here. Yeah. Lynn, can you tell us a little bit about the three buildings that Maria had mentioned? Um, are they specialty yep. areas? Yep, our main three buildings that we focus on for our assisted living community. We have our Rembrandt, we have our Manor, and then we have our Tiffany. Each a little different in the level of care provided. A Rembrandt building is anywhere from independent to 24-7 supervision, you know, a la carte to AM, PM, and night home health aides mm -hmm. assistance. Mm -hmm. And then we do focus on the um, more advanced cares where we're focusing on Alzheimer dementia, um, behavior management, things of that nature, to end-of-life hospice. Right. Yeah. What, what is the capacity for the number of residents? Here. Well, we throughout the three buildings, um, capacity 240, but then we also have husbands and wives, you know, that may reside together or given our three buildings, we have different levels of care where one might be more independent than the other. So. As far as activities, you oh have my a wide range of activities available yeah. for the residents. Yes. Yeah, each building is very active in its own way, very social. Um, and geared towards the independence to the further advanced aging process. And dining facilities, I see yeah. that you have a beautiful dining room here. Yeah. And availability for the residents to come down, I'm yeah. assuming. Or... Um, we offer a majority of the breakfasts are served to their apartment, 
which is very nice. More home-like, you know, no one has to get up early and they can kind of have breakfast, eat in their apartment, have their coffee, and then we have brunch and dinner in our main dining room. Gives a lot of options. And a beautiful garden as, as yes. well. Yeah. And Maria, I heard you're the keeper of the garden. Yeah, we put flowers all down the boulevards, around the circles, in the Michelangelo, hanging all over, pots all over, so. Beautiful yeah. patio yep. for residents yep. to, mm -hmm. to enjoy as well. Yep. Yep. Michelangelo Gardens, we call it, and it's all enclosed and it's very safe. And uh, yeah, we have lots of parties and picnics and, and we have some concerts out there too. So oh, we like to get the people outdoors. And exactly. I tell, tell the staff, anytime they have a chance, take someone out. Right, right. Well, if our viewers would like more information on Heritage of Edina, um, is there a website, is there a telephone yeah. number that, that you yep. can provide? They can go to heritageofedina.com and then it also lists kind of the whole process all the way through the day of admission day. That's wonderful. Yep. Well, Maria, Lynn, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And thank you. And thank you for joining us on Enterprise Edina. I hope you come back next month when we take a look at another great Edina business. Until then, enjoy Edina. Enterprise Edina is brought to you by Heritage of Edina.